All right. I'm going to take a look at this before reading your email, because you're writing out what the story is. Let's lower that volume just a tad. Let's go back. <laughs> you know, it's so interesting how, to me, sound design helps. I always say that if I wouldn't do animation, I would do sound design. But I just love how there's just that extra layer because of the sounds. But anyway, let's watch it again. So my two impressions would be, this is all cool. Here, it's a bit of a tricky pose with this stump out here. We don't quite know what's going on with the legs, you know, the hands. I mean, it's very dark, so the hand silhouette in front of the head is not quite working. That stuff, you know, it's just not very clear. So for that little peak, I would do something a bit clear. And this, to me, looks like he is he's looking out and he's trying to get out. And then here, he seems dead. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And in terms of style, it feels like when this happens, could be faster and snappier. And just, I don't know how far you want to go in terms of style and cartooniness and have him bounce up and do some leg scramble. But I feel like this could be bigger. And then when this happens, it's weird because this seems like, whoa, like what happened there? But then on this, it feels more like, huh. I guess that's where I put my corpse or whatever it is. So I'm not quite sure. Either you make this less of a surprise, so this seems more in character, or if you want him to be surprised and shocked, I would make it bigger. But then this here, I would open up the door and have to take a couple steps back to kind of be in a more like, oh, what's what's going to happen? Why is this person in there? I don't know. That's kind of, that's the reaction that I had. I'm going to read now what you wrote and pause this critique. All right. This was just a split second for you. <laughs> I read your mail. <laughs> it's totally different. Okay. For those that are watching, there's a couple of things. So you're saying he is happy and really focused while working in the kitchen. Let's turn off the sound. This to me seems fairly relaxed. Like, oh. All right, I'm going to put this in here and put this away. This seems very, very relaxed and kind of like, all right, I guess it's Wednesday. I got to do this, except for this, which is interesting. But if you want to say happy and focused, you know, there could be a little bit of a bounce. And, and the, the way he turns this off could be, where's my hand? Get over there. It could be a little bit of a, eh, like he's doing kind of this. And instead of just going, turning it off, the knob, it could be a little bit of a, you know, like a little snap to it. So there's a bit more and you can probably push then this a bit. <clears throat> and then I would probably, where is his hand here? During this, I would do a switch from the cup to this to this hand, because right now the silhouette is a bit modeled. I was thinking, imagine that hand could be here, and imagine uh, this arm, you know, it's a long arm. I mean, you could have it open like this, right? If that's that's the body, but it's just something where, again, my arm. It's not like hidden like this, but he could do oh, it's like, like an arc and then like just there's more exaggerated motions and kind of like, oh, I'm putting this in here. And I'm going to put that in here. Like those type of moves you could add to give that impression of he's really, really happy because that's what I'm reading here. That's what you're trying to do. And for me, it seems a bit more relaxed. Now, here's the biggest change from what I got from this. You are saying he wants to put the garbage away. He is really in flow. Sure. Then he opens the door and his child, say his children is there, but I think you just mean his child is there and wants to scare him. This, given the colors, <coughs> you also, excuse me, you also say it's a placeholder, but that's what I was wondering, like what that pose is. But with the red eyes and the black, this to me seems more like, you know, it's like uh, it's a thief or someone, but then because of the ending, he's knocked out or dead, so. For those that are watching, it's his child that tries to scare him. He is so freaked out, right? He's doing really he's closing his door really, really fast in his reaction and basically knocks the child unconscious. 
and then when it opens, this happens. I think it's just fairly confusing. A, what I, I mean, he is smaller in scale, but... It's a bit tricky, you know? I mean, it's, it's like you want to put this door over there and make this a bigger door. You know, and even if it's not opening door like this, it could be a door that kind of folds. I would just give, I would find a way to give this character more room. And you can potentially, again, uh, scale it down even more. And then definitely have the same color. So just visually understand that they're connected. This just gives me a weird thief, robot, droid vibe. You know what I mean? So... It's not like you want to see the kid. Okay, so yeah, I would, I would give this more room, make him smaller, so that we we just see we have a room for more clear poses. And when you open this, I would have the kid in very very clear poses of potentially arms. You know, again, I can't draw. I'm going to be horrible at this. But the point being that there is a clear pose of the character waiting, anticipate. This can be over two three frames. This and go. And you can see the animation hands doing this, going right, so that it's clear that the character is alive doing this. And then when you close this, you're talking about also how the timing is between this. I still stand by what I said before, where just make them happier. But what I said here about this is too slow, and you said you're not a fan of this. I don't mind. I wouldn't maybe stretch out this as far. I think you're okay with this more bent, but I like this being far away. He wants to get away from the door. But I will give this a little bit of a jump back with maybe arm again, legs a bit in the air, just a bit of a holy crap, like it's more freaked out. And you don't have to the thing is he can freak out and go on his way back. Shoo, slam the door. And that will probably make for greater contrast of him in the kitchen, da 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 a bit more subdued, maybe a little bit of bounce in there because he's happy. And then you have that sudden explosion of holy crap. Phew, goes back and really shuts that shuts that door. And what you could do, again, this changes a lot, but just as a, as a thought I have right now, what if he jumps back, slams that door, a big arm move, so the door shroom, slams, goes boom, but then slowly opens again. And then this happens, meaning he opens the door and goes, what in the crap? Phew, jumps back, slams the door, the door boom, hits the kid. But because the door opens again, slowly like that, you see, you see the kid going and fall down. So we understand visually that this character in there was alive, gets knocked out, and then falls down. And then you could just end with, you know, the door will be open. He just kind of, you see him wiggle, falls down, and he could be here, maybe still one leg in there, holding his face. And that could be your trembling moving hold while all the movement is here so that the audience knows where to look. This just felt weirdly too casual opening this. But again, this would change the idea of him opening it again. But I think, I mean, that, that would be my thought of really big explosion, jump back, big arm, whoops, closing the door. And just the, the, again, the door hits and then immediately bounces back and slowly opens so that we we don't see this character for maybe a frame or two. But then you can really focus on your know, animation on the kick going and then the arms drop and uh, falls down. I think, you know, and as he falls down, maybe a little toy comes out rolling or there's just more stuff that you can do here um, while the other character is just in a moving hold being freaked out. That That's kind of probably what I would do. It would be a lot more fun than just that quick take and then slowly opening. Because if you do it like this, but this is another way you can do this where it's not the kid. And, you know, maybe this is... You know, what if you have blood splatter? And he's just cleaning and he's not making a pop, but he's just kind of cleaning and he has a, a sponge in his hand. He's just kind of cleaning... And you're wondering, like, what's going on? Because the contrast would be blood and maybe, like, broken parts. Him still happy. And you're like, why is he happy? There's blood everywhere. 
And he's just kind of cleaning things. And then as he opens this, you can do still this. Maybe less of a surprise. And then when that opens, you have him then use the leg to kind of shove him back in. Close this and he continues to clean. I don't know if that's a good idea, but just something where I'm cleaning. Like, and the audience goes, why is there so much blood? And then he opens the thing and he falls out and goes, oh, because he just killed this person. And he's more relaxed going, ah, ah yeah, I forgot. I got to put him back in there while I clean. I don't know. That could be something if you want to change the whole shot. Obviously, like, don't do that. But just a, a thought. But yeah, that's kind of what I have. You're asking about the hands. Definitely. I mean, you know, him cleaning and... And smacking the door, you can do like all the big poses on the hands, and then it gets back where the hands are like this on his face as he's as he's concerned. The kid doing ah, that with big hand poses. I think there's a lot of stuff you can do there. And you're also asking if it's okay to see, just see the back. To me, it's okay because you're doing broad silhouette moves, and the character has no face except maybe eyes. But so it's okay. We don't need to see the face. I think that's totally fine. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm curious what you think. These are just kind of my impressions before reading, and I'm glad that you wrote spoiler. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think and how you want to proceed. Obviously, it's your shot, and you can do whatever you want, but these are just my impressions on first-time viewing. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.